What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today it's a good old pickups video. There's a lot of arrow titles in this video and there's some cool other little titles that I grabbed on a sale. Before we get to the arrow stuff, let's get on to the first bunch of stuff. So Zavi had a warehouse clearance sale. I think it's still going on. You can have a look on their website. I actually don't know. Usually I don't I don't um usually I don't shop at Zavi because I've heard the you know the nightmare horror stories from people getting stuff absolutely destroyed. Fortunately, the one title that I the two titles that I've received from Zavi are good. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, didn't get a slip, which I was unfortunate. And that'll be the 4K of Halloween Kills. Now, this was on a 2 for 25 deal. I don't mind paying 12.50 for this. Uh, not the biggest fan of this movie, as you probably know, if you've seen live streams when it ran about when it came out. Um, generally thought it was one of the probably the most disappointing film of last year. Really disappointed me. Um, but Keith of the Euphoria Pictures, his review of the 4K really kind of made me think maybe it's worth a rewatch on 4K. So uh, I thought when it came down to that 2 for 25 deal, I thought, you know, this is the time to strike for this release. The other title with the 2 for 25 that I did pick up, I haven't received yet, and that would be the brand new 2021 Dune. Uh, not seen that yet, waiting, waiting for the 4K to come to watch that for the first time. Looking forward to that one. For a film that I thought was fairly disappointing, and I'm looking forward to actually giving it a rewatch in 4K, £12.50 felt like a decent price. So that's Halloween Kills. A surprising release from 88 Films that... When it was originally announced, I didn't really care for it. I thought, oh, you know, that's, that film is going to not hold up per se. Um, but it was half price on 88 Films, their direct on their store. That's the only way you can get the half price deal on. So this steelbook set was the one with Jet Li. A fairly standard steelbook. I wouldn't say it's the best steelbook ever. It's fairly generic. The fact that it's the same artwork as the slip is a bit disappointing, in my opinion. And then at the back is even more disappointing. You just have the one. But I thought for £15, a limited set like this, I thought was worth the price. I would never have paid the 30 that it came out at, at. I thought that was way too much for this release. But I have some really great news. And if this deal is still on, go and check AA Films' uh, website. If it is still on, I would recommend you to snag this at £15. Solely because this film holds up better than it has any right to be. Me and Soph watched this and we had such a good time with it. Even the early 2000s CG effects hold up really well, to be fair, like really good. Like I'm really, really surprised how well this film held up. It is a ton of fun. The only thing I would say that kind of dates this movie is the music choice. There's a lot of early 2000s new metal in here that really dates uh, the film like that was that was the music of that era especially when i was growing up if you don't care about this film too much but you feel like yeah i'll give that a rewatch this blu-ray set is probably one of the best blu-ray um remasters 2k transfers i have seen in a long long time it looks absolutely pristine uh, i thought it looked fantastic and even like i said those early 2000s cgi moments he, usually those kind of really tacky kind of CGI stuff looks kind of a bit odd when you when you uh, do a restoration like this in 2K, but it looks great. I, I, I don't know what it is. It looks really good, guys. Honestly, this is definitely a release I can recommend. If you can get it less than 20 quid, grab it. If it's still on the 50% off on 88 Films, it's a must-buy, guys. If you like your Jet Li films in your early 2000s, Matrix-inspired, you know, sci-fi action, it's a must buy, Hold, held up really well, and I cannot recommend it enough. That's the one. Next up, we have a film on the Midnight Classics range uh, from Amazon Italy. Been meaning to grab this for a while. I did want the Arrow edition of this movie, but it's long out of print and commands a, a fair price on eBay now. So this was £22, and yeah, it is a beautiful set. Uh, this is a Digibook set, so as you, as you open it up, You've got this artwork. The artwork of these Midnight Classics are absolutely just gorgeous. Gorgeous artwork comes from Midnight Classics and MGM. As you open it up, you've got the the, the, the Blu-ray. 
Blu-ray there, you've got the booklet. Mine's a bit damaged, it's hanging out a little bit, but I, I digress. The extras, Blu-ray bonus features there. Really nice set. I will get on to why I actually purchased this. I've been after this film for a while. Uh, I recently watched a film called Slugs uh, on Arrow Player recently. Really enjoyed that film from the 80s. Really, really kind of like campy uh, creature feature. And uh, this film is about killer worms, so I thought I had to grab this. And when I saw the Arrow edition being so out of print and, and commanding a fairly high price now, I thought I, uh, I didn't realise it was on Midnight Classics. And when I saw this on Amazon Italy for 22 euro, I thought I'm going to pull the trigger. And uh, yeah, looking forward to checking this out. It's such a nice edition as well. These Midnight Classic editions are just great. Uh, yeah, that's Squirm. Now this is when we get to our, uh, we'll get to my Arrow uh, pickups that I recently got. Uh, I got a bunch. A lot of these I picked up using a voucher. Some of these I picked up brand new. Uh, yeah, so um, gonna kick off with the first one. First one is a film uh, recommended me by a couple of people. Uh, mostly so, Ash of Popcorn and Horror. He recently watched this and he thought it was great fun. And that film is called The Incredible Melting Man. I've not seen it. I did watch a retrospective of it on on um, YouTube. That really made me want to check it out. It gave me a bit of appreciation for what this what this film was meant to be, what it became, and how the director was kind of fucked over. But apparently it's still a very cool film with great, great uh, practical effects. The melting effect is apparently really great for the time. So really looking forward to checking this out. Uh, this is a, a two-disc release from Arrow. I'm sure this was meant to have a slip cover, but I got it from CEX, so I digress. But I really like that artwork i think it's stupendous uh yeah so that's the incredible melting man next up is a film that i mentioned that i watched on the arrow player slugs as soon as i watched it i had to pick up the, the blu-ray i thought this film was absolutely fantastic campy gory surge premise um you know, you know carnivorous slugs is quite hilarious in in just that alone artwork sums up the film really well actually imagine the premise of jaws there's this thing that's you know killing people. The uh, a guy knows about it. He's trying to warn people. They don't want to listen. They don't want to cause a panic, and just shit gets worse. This film came out in 1988, and it's got some of the some of the most awesome practical effects that I've seen in a long time. And it concerns a creature feature, absolutely just just just, just gloriously brutal in its practical effects. If you're a gore hound and you like your gore in your horror films, this is one to watch just for how gruesome the practical effects are. There's one scene at a um, at a uh, restaurant that is fucking just vicious. Uh, and I don't want to spoil anything, but it's it's just unreal. Like, I was like, this is actually, this is from the 80s, and it blew me away. But yeah, Slugs is a great old time. I had a great time. Is this film campy? Yes. Have you probably seen it before? Yeah, but it's a good old fun time, and I highly recommend it slugs next up i picked up a, uh, a double pack off of ebay two arrow titles two arrow titles that i was meaning to get actually want to check out i do there's a director that i've only seen maybe one of his films which is the fly obviously i'm talking about david cronenberg i've been meaning to be watching more of his films i just haven't lately i just haven't got around to watching them so i decided to pick some of them up and uh, thankfully arrow has got a few of these films on the label so first up i picked up shivers i know it's about a parasite that increases your sexual kind of aggression in in you and it causes this apartment to go mad with these people just fucking going violently crazy sounds interesting sounds insane and it might be up my street we'll see uh, that shivers next up is a film that a lot of people recommend as somewhat of a interestingly very odd and campy creature feature and that is the stuff still haven't watched this yet i love that artwork uh, been meaning to pick this up for a while loads of people recommend it it's meant to be really silly but really good fun at the same time uh yeah uh it says on the back are you eating it or is it eating you that's fucking scary isn't it sounds interesting to me the stuff next up is a <clears throat> david cronenberg movie that a lot of people i know love this film um looking forward to checking it out not sure how I'll find it. I've heard that this is a really big cult classic. A lot of people love this movie, and that will be a film called Videodrome. Um, I've heard a lot of things about this film, about how it kind of is almost kind of like this weird, kind of sexualized, biomechanical movie that kind of merges, yeah, video 
and flesh and it's a bit weird like that don't really know much about any, any, anything else but that but yeah video drone found it in uh, cx for about eight quid i thought i'd pick it up and just maybe yeah like i said explore more david cronenberg films so yeah that's video drone next up is a vampire film from out of space by toby hooper not seen this one i tried to watch it a few a few years ago and couldn't get into it but i found it in a in a, in a um, cash converters for fairly cheap so i thought i'd give it a rewatch, and that is life force uh yeah looking forward to che checking this out and giving this a second go hopefully it'll be more of my you know cup of tea on a rewatch, and maybe like those three years have kind of made me a bit more open-minded with movies and maybe it'll be more up my street this time this is a two disc edition as well and it's got the booklet which is really cool uh, really happy about that. It's got the two discs there. Got the cool booklet. Love the artwork. Life Force. Let me know if you, what you think about this, guys. Uh, vampires from space, apparently. Sounds pretty interesting. Maybe it's the time for me to check it out and give it a give it another go. Uh, next up, I picked up a film. I've been meaning to check out check out for a while. Um, it's got fairly mixed reviews that I've seen. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I've never really seen many in between uh, kind of opinions on this. Uh, but it's a uh, Gamero del Toro movie, and it is called Crimson Peak. I do like uh, Gamero del Toro movies. I like Hellboy, and I love like Pan's Labyrinth and uh, and Kronos. So I thought um, he's pretty good at his horror, and Crimson Peak looks like just like that, really, like a like a cool kind of gothic horror. So this might be up my street. Let me know if you've seen Crimson Peak, and if it's any good. Uh, I'm kind of on the fence about this. You know, it could be exactly what i'm hoping it to be or it could be completely not what i want but we'll see next up is a uh, <clears throat> 4k limited edition uh of a dario argento film that i generally didn't like on my first view um but i've started collecting the dario Argento 4k limited editions so i thought i'd add this to the collection and maybe on a rewatch uh, it might be something i actually enjoy more that film is the 4k limited edition of phenomena yeah, this film is a very bizarre, very odd movie um, that I think it kind of has an identity crisis, in my opinion. It starts off as this really cool murder mystery with this girl uh, who has this kind of telepathic connection with these insects. And it was going to be like she was going to somehow figure out this murder um, using in insects to help her. But I feel like kind of halfway through, it kind of loses, loses its way a little bit. And it kind of goes somewhere else and it kind of gets a bit messy i think you know towards the final act and i feel i felt i found myself being lost in this movie and not in not in a good way you know you can lose yourself in movies this didn't have that effect for me it's just more like i have no clue what's going on and the film keeps going into these weird kind of almost like almost these almost kind of music video kind of dreams it's very strange the music choices is very odd as well i didn't understand it uh, it had very strange music choices. Uh, yeah, this this film is an odd one. Needs a rewatch for me. I bet it's going to be a great 4K transfer as well. The concept is solid. The execution, not so much. But again, this might click with me better on a rewatch. But as it stands, didn't like it on my first watch. But uh, I'm collecting these 4K Dario Argento limited sets. So it was one I had to pick up. So yeah, that's phenomenal. Next up is the other thing that I picked up on the Zavi Warehouse Clearance. Uh, really happy to find this for so cheap. This was £12.50 and it is the Arrow Steelbook Limited Edition of 12 Monkeys. And it is a steelbook. Comes in a nice rigid box. So pull it out. So there's the box there. We have a little booklet. I think we've got the poster inside there. And then this is the uh, the steelbook itself. Again, I'm not blown away. Just like the one steelbook, I'm not actually blown away by this that much. I think it's fine. But I thought to myself, it's a film I want to give her, I have not seen in years. I thought for $12.50, um, this was uh, a worthwhile purchase for me. And it could be a great rewatch. But yeah, that's 12 Monkeys. Limited steelbook set from Arrow. Really nice release. Not the greatest still book, like I said, but still, uh, for the price, I thought it was a really good grab. Getting to our final final pick now. I had no uh, true intention to pick this set up. 
especially at its original asking price of like, I think it was like 70 quid when it was announced. And considering only one of the films in here is in 4K, which is disappointing. I know the sequels aren't meant to be very good at all. Not seen this film before, not seen this series of films before. I love my horror movies. So when I saw this for 30 pounds and see it, I had a voucher anyway. I thought I'd just grab it. It was in great condition. And that is Children of the Corn. Uh, on Arrow, the limited box set. The first movie is in 4K, and the others are not. It comes with, a, I think that's a booklet, I believe. So, but yeah, it comes with a booklet, a poster, and uh, yeah. I thought, why not just grab it as it's there? And uh, I'm glad I did, because it's actually a really nice set. I've not actually watched the films yet, but as sets go, it's a really nice set. Really actually happy with it. Um, the booklet is really good quality card um got the poster like if you know me at all you know i hate folded posters and as we get on to the actual films themselves the commissioned artwork is brilliant i absolutely adore it i think it looks fantastic and the 4k you have uh, a little promotional card as you do you have the 4k disc there and you have a bonus disc blu-ray as well which is pretty cool. And then we obviously have Children of the Corn 2. Again, I'm loving this uh, commissioned artwork. I think it's stupendous. And you just get just get the regular uh, disc there. But um, when it comes to reversible art, you just have the kind of almost like original artwork there. Um, but I love that commissioned artwork a lot more. I think it's great. And the same kind of carries over to Children of Corn 3. Again, brilliant artwork, really cool. And again, this only has one disc. And once again, we have the original artwork there. So that is the Children of the Corn set. Um, why, they, why they couldn't make the rest 4K, I don't know maybe it was licensing reasons so that is the children of the corn set really happy with it um it looks great on the shelf obviously these films are i don't know what they are really but i've heard that they're kind of hit and miss kind of a hit and miss franchise that is the pickups for today really i'm really happy with the bolstering of my arrow collection that i've done i think it's, it's just really cool that squirm set is really nice and yeah um i'm looking forward to checking out uh, and re-checking out some of these movies uh, should be a good time. Watched quite a lot of movies recently, actually. Some really cool ones. Rewatched The Void lately, which is fucking, I love that movie. It's so good. But yeah, uh, watched The Black Phone as well. Guys, go and watch The Black Phone. I loved it. I thought it was great. Anyway, enough of my babbling. As always, guys, I have been Jason. Uh, and I will see you next time.